G'day and welcome back to another DBZ Doken Battle video. In this video we're going to take a look at how well the Ultimate Gohan, the Physical Ally Ultimate Gohan, does in the Omega Shenron Red Zone. So Ultimate Gohan's pretty decent for most Red Zones I want to say. Uh, I think he's pretty good against Metal Cooler Core. Probably pretty good against Broly, although the strength AoE phase would definitely cause him problems if he doesn't get his key nullification off. And, you know, in general I think he's pretty good against most of the red zones. Uh, he doesn't take long to get going, he has guard in the beginning, and in general he's just a fairly strong unit. So, it's pretty fun, pretty cool to obviously get a look at him as a character. Uh, and I think overall he's, his leader skills not too bad. Uh, with the EZA of AGL Gogeta, you can actually make a pretty fun, pretty good team using all of these units. Uh, at least for me, I, I find that they look pretty decent altogether. So overall, I would say that Gohan is a fairly, fairly solid choice. Now... The team build I'm going with is a Hybrid Saiyans cross uh, Super Heroes team. We've got AGL Gogeta, we've got Tech Vegito. They're going to be one pairing on one rotation. And then we're just going to see how the Gohans do floating around, doing their business, uh, doing their damage. Like I said, they don't take a long time to get up to speed. So generally speaking, they do quite fine uh, as characters. Now the big thing with Omega Shenron is his first phase can be quite irritating. Uh, you know, he can seal your units, uh, he can lock your units in place, he just does quite a lot of irritating things. Then his second phase is strength, which would be a great way to test how good Gohan is. And then his final phase is where he launches like a mega uh, huge you know, attack every two turns. You either have to beat him in two turns or you have to have a unit that can absorb his damage. Now it's a key blast, key blast, a key based super, key blast based super. So it's actually a pretty easy one for Gohan to uh, kind of deal with, which is pretty good. Another cool thing about Gohan is that he stuns as well, which is helpful in this first phase because that way you have a lot more control over what happens against Omega Shenron because you can stun this first phase. So yeah, overall, Gohan, at least for me looks fairly solid very very reliable uh, as a unit obviously you know i think his mechanics come into play a lot here especially in the omega shenron fight but he is usable in a ton of other red zones it's just going to depend on the rest of the team that you build around them uh, pan is a great unit for example but she's going to get absolutely handed uh, against, you know, for example, Broly, because she doesn't have the ability to activate her evasion. Then you've got, you know, Piccolo, who I don't have, who's obviously very clearly uh, one of the better units to have in general for most stages. So yeah, there's just a lot that you can kind of do, basically, uh, to cut a long story short. Here, you can kind of see where you get a little bit limited uh, by Omega Shenron. You know, not having the ability to move Gohan uh, kind of leaves us a little bit, you know, stick him off rotation, not necessarily the best thing. But it's all okay. Like I say, uh, Gohan does more than fine the whole way through this event. Uh, he's just really, really solid. I think Gohan is probably one of the better units in every red zone. Uh, I just, yeah, he, especially once you get, start getting his attacks effective against all types, I just don't really see uh, where he can kind of be, you know, caught out or given issues or anything like that. So, yeah, overall, just a very, very good unit uh, and a great team as well. Uh, you can see here, you know, we've got, uh, you know, Gogeta, we've got Vegito. They're units that do a great job. Um... Vegeta's ZZA is very good. I think it's also helped to uh, kind of facilitate Vegito a little bit. Uh, Gogeta can pseudo act as a first slot unit because of his 70% evasion for most events. 
So I think it is actually a lot of fun running these chairs of rotation. And yeah, uh, in general, I do think Gohan's leader skill is fairly decent. The hybrid sense portion for me is more interesting than the Bond the Master and Disciple and uh, Parent and Child portion is also more interesting. As I think that portion is going to be stronger more often in the long run. You're probably likely to always get a hybrid Saiyan at some point during the year. One or two hybrid Saiyans, you know. Then you're also likely to get EZAs for hybrid Saiyans. And pretty much every hybrid Saiyan in existence is on Master and Disciple or on the Parent and Child. There's not a single one of them I think that's on or not on those categories because like yeah how like I don't even think any hybrid saying can be born without bond of parent and child basically so yeah um fairly strong I think it's only like the fusion go tanks that aren't on them I think uh so yeah most hybrid sands look really really solid uh do a great job here we obviously do have a Whis active but it's not going to be a huge issue. Uh, we can see Gohan's damage looking really, really solid. Uh, Gohan would be fine. Nice thing about Omega Shenron's fight, especially in the strength phase for Gohan, is that he fires Key Blast Supers. So Gohan still always has that nullification type advantage, uh, or that nullification ability that he has stored, which can really help him out a lot uh, against Omega Shenron, if I'm honest. Like it does just really, you know, it does just really give him like this very strong outlet through which to like be able to not get absolutely decimated in, in these disadvantaged type fights. It's like even against Broly, you know, in Broly's event, the strength uh, area. Gohan has the ability to nullify those supers and that that's very big like for Gohan as a unit at least for me uh, I think that's a huge kind of like situation for Gohan so yeah fairly fairly good stuff all around just good stuff I think from Gohan seriously seriously good in this phase um, in this fight especially but in most red zone Gohan's got great abilities he's got the interrupt in his active skill as well uh, which is always something that's highly valuable. And here we have a pretty strong rotationary turn. Uh, we're going to activate the active skill, get you know the perfect linking partner uh, so that everything can kind of work there. Trying to get some orbs going uh, so that we can obviously maximize Gohan's active skills, but not like a huge issue. You can see there decent damage on the active skill as well. Nothing too crazy. I've seen a lot of people point that out, but you know the big thing is that it sets up Gohan uh, for his you know, super attack, which is what's most important, really. So yeah, uh, this kind of ultimate Gohan rotation very strong, by the way. Uh, so yeah, uh, Gohan looking pretty good. Uh, I think Gohan could carry you to a lot of red zone victories. Uh, just him as a unit, I think he's got the kit that can carry you there. Uh, his effective against all types is really what you're going to need in a lot of fights. Uh, in this one, he's lucky that there's two end phases. So getting him as max key doesn't matter so much here. But if you are looking at using him more for other red zones, then it is likely, at least I would say more than likely, that you're really, really, really going to want him to... Uh, you know, get that 20 key to get that attacks effective against all types it, it's super duper important it does help him out a lot and it is going to make th things a little bit easier for you personally speaking i mean you know it, it's not necessary but it, it is something that i would say does help you out a lot and so you know for the most part you probably do want it uh you know Omega Shenron does hit pretty hard, uh, that's for sure, as you can see there, 232k, uh, with uh, Gogeta not having, obviously, his full defense active or getting his evasion or anything, but it's a lot, you know, Omega Shenron can hit pretty hard, so it is nice to get him out fast and furious, and yeah, I think 
Yeah, Gohan, especially in this fight, does help out with that a lot. Uh, I think his team is good. I think his kit is good. But I think he's good for most red zone. At least personally speaking, I think he's really good uh, for most red zone. But yeah, uh, overall, I would say pretty good stuff. Uh, if you are obviously interested in running you know, these events, and if you are interested in, of course, taking on these events, and you have Gohan, then you're at a pretty good place. You will need some other pieces to make them work. Uh, maybe Mystic Gohan, definitely Pan helps. Uh, Strength Mystic Gohan helps. A lot of key base supports are really strong on Hybrid Saiyans, and those can help you. But Gohan's great for Red Zone. That's it for me. Bye.